This is it, the first big test of 2025. I'm at Ross around one, and for me, this event means everything. Last year, my only shot at proving the beast ended in complete disaster. One chance, one failure. But now, it's back. This is a massively updated design, rebuilt and ready to run. Today is its first real opportunity to prove itself. My goals? Honestly, just to get a clean run through the traps. If I can get a new personal best, maybe even earn a hat, that would be a huge win. But let's be realistic, this car's top speed so far is just 109 miles an hour. Breaking into the 150 club? That would be massive. It's time to find out. Is the beast finally ready to roar? Here I am at Ross around 1, 2025, ready to push the limits of the beast car, see what it can do. The goal for today is to work towards 150 mile an hour and get my next cap. It, we can't, when we got here this morning, it was soaking wet the runway, but it's already dried up. This is a couple of hours later, about nine o'clock. Um, and it's pretty nice actually, light wind, quite good conditions at the moment, but every, everyone's still setting up, um, timing's still setting up. No one's actually run any cars yet. Um, but I think they will be starting to think about doing that soon. And I'm planning to do a bit of a shakedown with the beast car, a um, bit of a range check, get the steering set up so it's going straight, check the fail safes, and then I'll be ready to run. I spent some time walking the track to find the best line, then improved it further by hammering down some tarmac banding and scraping off some big blobs. Even the tiniest bump at over 100 mile an hour can ruin a run, especially for the smaller cars, so prep work like this is essential. I'm just going to do a shakedown run just to get the steering trim set. Um, so here, here goes, first running at Rossa 2025. And that steering trim is pretty good. Right, I'm going to give it a bit of beans now to see, see how well it takes. It's pretty good, I'm not going to get any better than that, I don't think. Excellent. I was so relieved I hadn't burnt any motors out like last year at Ross around three. Go and have a look at the video from that event to see what happened. But only after watching this video, of course. What we on board? Uh, 12S. Thank you very much. Car number 79 on 12S. Right, let's get up here. Disabled. 
All yours, very good luck. Thank you. After that successful shakedown, I was ready to run. I kept the settings the same as what I'd used at Mallory Park, expecting a conservative start. There was a crosswind coming in from the left, which pushed on the vertical stabilizers and caused the car to veer slightly, which I corrected with the steering, and it stayed stable. So things were looking promising. Yes! <laughs> the B surprised me. First run, 117 miles an hour. Yes! This meant that I'd met one of my main goals of the event of doing a clean run, and with a good speed as well. This was a great start to the event for me. Oh, brilliant, yeah. Thank you. God, that's a weight off my mind, that is. Oh. Very well done, sir. Thank you, thank you. I'm we all missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to help you see it by starting just over there. <laughs> you have to tell me when you're running. Yeah. <laughs> but no, everyone said it was a lovely pass. Seven, 117, yeah. Hoping for over 130, this one. The runway is yours. Thank you very much. Disabled. Now my plan was to gradually up the speed to my 150 mile an hour target by dialing in more RPM on the speed controls and having a longer run up each time. For run two, I was targeting 130 miles an hour. Right, going then. Yeah, 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 so I hear, yeah. I hit it bang on, smooth run with no issues, and a personal best through the speed traps. Then I went for one more. Turning the RPM up to 73%, I was targeting 150 with this run, but I hit 140, which was still another new PB, one run after another. Unfortunately, I forgot to hit record, typical. Even at that speed though, tyre wear was minimal, with no need to change any of them yet. Another good sign that the Beast car was working well. There she is. With the sun dropping and the wind staying strong, I went for one last run. All clear, yeah. Harder on the throttle, more confident in the line, and the B stayed absolutely planted. What a run, that was sick. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yes. It tore past the traps with barely a sound and logged just over 150 miles an hour. Well done, Thank you. Target achieved. I'd made it into the 150 mile an hour club. Is that your PB? 
Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Fucking well done, bro. Yeah, cheers. Oh, that was nice, bro. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's enjoyable to drive, it is. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah. Great stuff. Looking forward to seeing more of it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, let me just put this over there. With the day's goal hit and two more days left, I called it and packed up. No damage, no tyre issues, just solid performance. I couldn't ask for a better day one. And tomorrow we push further. Don't miss it.